Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here with our SARS COVID 2 update. Hey, what have we learned? Well, some actually some pretty interesting stuff. Definitely some questions yet to be answered, but some great answers paving the way for better success. We're approaching 900,000 world infections, 43,000 deaths. Let's not take that lightly. Uh, there's plenty of scientists that are saying, hmm, you know what, this data seems kind of interesting. In some cases, it may be overinflated because uh, when you look at people over 80 and 90 with multiple health conditions, did the virus kill them or were they on their way out and they were called a viral cause of death? Time will tell, but when we look at this world graph, there's some things that are very uh, good about it. This is now basically spread all over the world, and that basically means that every country's in its progression, should peak, come down. Uh, the time frame is looking like it's about three weeks period of time. China data is in the books, so we use them as a classic curve. When we superimpose that curve over Italy, uh, we see that Italy appears to have peaked and is on their way down, especially the last couple of days looking much better for Italy. USA is still on the rise, uh, especially with New York City, a profoundly densely populated area with lots and lots of uh, this virus going on. Spain still appears to be on the rise. So what about this coronavirus? This is something that was published on March 15th, 2020. So very, very recently. And basically what they've said is that about 15% of common colds are associated with corona type viruses so we might remember mers right they might have called that camel flu but basically they suggested that a bat infected a camel the virus mutated and that infected a human sars a bat infected a cat and that became uh the sars virus which infected a human and then they have now suggesting a bat infected something called a pangolin uh, and that infected the human. But here's the argument on that. The bat virus compared to the pangolin virus compared to, or pangolin compared to the human form, uh, it's only 99% identical. So that might seem very, very similar, but understand that human DNA and chimpanzee DNA are 99% identical. Uh, and so Charles Darwin said it took a million years to go from a chimpanzee to a human, so the authors are suggesting it's highly unlikely uh, that there was not another step in between. So the science fiction people wanna, wanna say, okay, well, that just certainly adds credence to the idea that maybe someone was having a science experiment that went bad. Uh, certainly don't wanna promote conspiracy theory, but it makes us think. So what else can we think about? Well, can something natural help? Now my bias is I'm in natural medicine, and what I've seen is people do really, really well by nourishing their body, by detoxifying their body, by de-stressing their body. And that's what they do with Chinese medicine. Lots of different formulas there. But here's the study. They looked at over 40,000 cases. 40,000 in China. That's quite a bit. And they looked at those people who did traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine. And look what happened. There was only a 7.4% probability of progressing to more serious disease when they used Chinese medicine as opposed to nearly half, 46.2%. And then when you start looking at death, less than 9% as opposed to 39%. So when people used Chinese medicine and Western medicine, less than a one in 10 chance uh, of dying when they used Western medicine, about a four in 10 probability. Highly, highly, highly significant. Uh, one of my favorite herbs, Ganoderm elucidum, the king of herbs used throughout traditional Chinese medicine. Lots of people having wonderful updates. Bob Proctor did over an hour q and I really like Bob Proctor, um, but he said something fascinating. He said, worrying is like praying for something you don't want. So let's not worry. The song says, don't worry, be happy. This looks like it's evolving like a lot of other pandemics. They rise, they fall. Stay healthy, stay strong, enjoy every moment, and help others thrive in these times. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.